I, uh, I've had a number of odd jobs over the years. I, um, I used to work at an animal hospital as a veterinary technician, which is like a nurse, but for puppies and kittens. But at the same time, I also worked part-time at Walt Disney World as Goofy. And you're welcome. That means that on one day, I would go into work and I would help save a dog. But then the very next day, I'd go to work and I'd be a dog. <laughs> yeah, it's not even really a joke. Just think it's kind of a cute thing. Yeah. Toward the end of my tenure at uh, Walt Disney World, I started to, uh, to talk to the kids in my costume, which is very frowned upon. Um, but in my defense, I, I, I was bored. I was just, I didn't have a lot to do in there. Uh, I remember there was this one time, there was this kid, and he's down here, and uh, I was taking a photo with him, and I was like, this, basically, which is um, kind of the rule you always had to have your hands outstretched like that, because if you didn't have your hands outstretched, a parent could take that photo and take it to a lawyer, and then the lawyer could go to Disney and be like, can you prove that Goofy's hand is in fact on this kid's back and has not in fact drifted down to Never Never Land? And so they actually had a phrase in training to help us remember. They would say, uh, uh, and remember, keep your hands in the frame. Uh, we don't get sued as much. It wasn't, it wasn't catchy, but we remembered. And so I was down there with this kid and it was like, it's 110 degrees and I'm bored out of my mind. And so this is what I said to him. I go, hey, I'm Goofy. <laughs> and I can talk. Like I didn't use Goofy's voice. It was horrible. It was like a, a terrible impression, horrible performance. And the kid just looks up at me and he goes, mom, Goofy's talking. I'm like a little snitch, you know? And, uh, <laughs> and then his mom, just looks at him and goes, mm, sure he is, honey. Goofy can talk. Like, it was the most condescending thing I'd ever seen. But I knew I wasn't going to get fired. So I was like, all right, let's have a little fun. So I'm down there, and I just go, huh. You feel that feeling right now? Of your parents not really understanding you? You're going to want to get used to that. <laughs> A yuck. <laughs> and then I just squeezed his ass and sent him on his merry way. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> then I moved to Los Angeles, and uh, a buddy of mine had an idea for, uh, for a job that he said I could make a lot of money at and still have a flexible schedule. And I was like, well, that sounds great. Sign me up. He left out the fact that it was an insane thing to do for money. And so... For a brief period of time in my life, I was a uh, character on Hollywood Boulevard. Oh. <laughs> Correct response. <laughs> Green Day couldn't handle that boulevard of broken dreams. <laughs> Horrible. 